Hello guys, in this tutorial you're gonna learn how to create an online food store front-end using Angular. In this series of episodes, I will follow a pragmatic way, which means there's more about coding instead of teaching theoretical things. So you can easily do the coding step by step with me to eventually see the final result. My name is Nasir and I started programming about 15 years ago and I feel great about being your tutor throughout this course. So, let's check out the demo. Okay, here inside the home component, we have a header component at the top that has two angular links in it. Cart for going to the cart page and food mine for going to the main page. We have a search component here that could find the foods based on their names. For example, if you search for meatball, it will find the meatball for you and it will show the result inside here. We also have a tags component here that could find the foods based on their tags. And there is a food card list component for showing the food cards. And each food card contains name of the food, is it favorite or not? Stars of the food, origins, time to cook, and price of the food. If we click on a food, we can see the food page component. In this component, we have a specific food data with more details and bigger. By clicking on add to cart button, the food will be added to the cart and the page will be redirected to the cart page component to show us all the foods inside the cart. We can get back and add other foods inside the cart. Here inside the cart page, we have a row for each selected food that contains the image, name, quantity, price, and the remove button for removing the food from the cart. By changing number of the quantity, two price will change at the same time, the food price and the total price. And after all, after clicking on the proceed checkout, will be moved to the not implemented component to show this page is not implemented. Since I don't want to talk about the backend in this course, I didn't implement any backend for this project. If you want me to add a backend to this project, just leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell button to not miss the future videos. Let's hop into the starting part that is installing Angular and creating the project. For installing Angular, we need npm or node package manager. npm is bundled inside the node installer. For installing the node.js, we need to go to the node.js.org website. There are two versions of node.js to download, the LTS version and the current version. LTS one is more stable and the current one has the latest features. I personally prefer stability over latest features, so I choose LTS version. After downloading, you just need to install it just like any other applications. It doesn't have any tricky things in installation process at all. After installing the Node.js, you can open up a terminal to check that everything is fine by typing npm dash dash version. After seeing the version number of your npm, you can make sure that you can use npm properly. Now it's time to install Angular CLI because we need Angular CLI for almost creating everything inside our Angular project. We just need to write npm install dash g angular for slash CLI. To install Angular CLI as a global package inside your machine. And the global package means that it's accessible in all directories. Now that you have the Angular CLI, you're going to start creating your new project. Just head over to the directory that you want to build your app into. Mine is documents, develop, angular, and here write ng new food mine course for creating the new project. It will ask you, do you want to enforce a stricter type checking? I say yes, because of its benefits in maintainability. It will ask again, would you like to add angular routing? I want to have it in my project, so I say yes. Here, it will ask us, which style sheet format would you like to use? I will choose CSS because I want to keep this course as simple as possible. 
After choosing your preference, you need to wait a couple of minutes for it to finish the installation of the new project. Okay, the installation of the project is finished. Let's go to the project directory by writing CD food mine course. Now we can serve the project using ng-serve-o before opening it inside the VS Code. By doing this, Angular CLI will track our changes in the project files and will reload the final result in the browser. So you don't need to even refresh your browser to see the result. That's a very cool feature that most of today's front-end frameworks have. And the dash o argument at the end of the command opens the served project in the default browser. So you don't need to write the local host and the port number inside your browser. So we're done here, it's up and running. Let's go for opening our project inside the Visual Studio Code. Let's go to the terminal, let's open up a new tab in the current directory and write code dot. Means open up Visual Studio Code in the current directory. This is where we can start our coding. Check out the next episode to see how to create the header part of our Foodmine project.